What's up YouTube, Zed here, back again with another video, and today we'll be doing the Mini ITX Killer Gaming Computer for around $1,300. It is a little bit more at $13.49 and 69 cents, and with mail-in rebates and other sales, you can get it to as low as around $1,200. So this PC is meant to sit inside your living room, underneath your TV, and stream games, as well as watch all of your Netflix, and um, possibly use XBMC if you need to do that kind of thing. This computer can play games natively, that's why... It's so expensive because it requires a very expensive graphics card. And it will be able to play almost every single game. Um, the games natively will be able to play pretty much any single game at 4K. No, not 4K, but 1440p. Or And most games at 4 Some games at 4K and every single game at 1080p, 60fps. Maxing all those settings out. If you do opt for 4K or uh, 2K, then your chances are you're going to be streaming if you want to hit max FPS. So with that being said guys, let's jump straight into this with the CPU of choice. This here is the Intel Core i5-6600, a quad-core 3.3 GHz processor based on the Z170 socket. It's a very low-powered processor, producing very low heat. It is a non-K-skewed edition, so if you're, so you're not going to be overclocking on this thing, there is really no reason why you should be overclocking because it is a mini-ITX computer. Uh, the i5 is one of the fastest processors out on the market whether you're gaming or video editing or really doing basic tasks such as movie watching you should have absolutely no problem it is clocked in at 3.3 gigahertz and quad core so you should not be hit any sort of bottlenecks or have any sort of issues with playing any of the latest and greatest games moving down to the motherboard we have the asus z170l pro gaming mini itx lga 1151 motherboard based on the z1 socket z170 socket to support the Intel Core i5-6600. The reason why I chose this mini ITX board is for a few reasons. One being that it features uh, Bluetooth 4.1 EDR as well as uh, Wi-Fi and has M.2 SATA port so you can pretty much keep this computer motherboard very compact. It also supports the USB 3.1 and it's only around $160. Uh, it's really really nice board and honestly one of the greatest boards you could possibly pick up today. As far as memory is concerned, we're looking at 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series, 2400 DDR4 MHz RAM. This is $85, and you know, pretty much all games nowadays require at least 8 gigs of RAM if you want to play them very, very well. Not even at least, I should say max requires 8 gigs. But some games such as GTA 5, and if you're playing mods, you're going to require even more. So that's why I opted for 16 gigs, and I also kind of think that's a new standard that most gaming PCs should have, is 16 gigs of RAM. Moving down to storage, we have the Samsung 950 Pro, a 256GB M.2 SATA SSD, $190. And the reason why I chose the M.2 SSD is because of the fact that this PC is mainly meant for streaming, so you're not gonna, so you're going to need more speed over the amount of storage you're going to need. Also, the M.2 is really small, so you can remove some of those um, drive cages out of there without having to basically you can always expand storage as well if you don't if you need more storage then you need um, speed then you can always opt for like a one terabyte SSD or even a two terabyte Western Digital Caviar Black Series drive or something of that nature moving down to the video card we have the Gigabyte Radeon R9 390X 8 gig video card the reason why I chose this card is not only is it one of the best price to performance cards out there but it also allows us to play 1440p without absolutely no problem and can output at 4K. 8 gigs of total VRAM is enough for really anything you want to do, and it's overall one of the greatest cards you can possibly purchase as as of right now. It sits in the, in between a 970 and a 980, or a 390 and a Fury. So with that being said, let's move on to the case. This here is the Corsair 250D Mini ITX Tower case. The reason why I chose this one is not only that because it looks so cool, but also because it features. Um, allowing you to put cards up to 11 inches in size and also allowing you to actually put a 2 rad CPU cooler if you're going for a k skewed um, you know processor it is uh, tons and tons of room and it's really it's on, it looks really cool and it's built very well and it also doesn't cost very much at $75 moving down to the power supply this here is the EVGA Supernova Nex a 650 watt 80 plus gold certified fully modular power supply the reason why I want to go with this bad boy is because it's 650 watts so it will not bottleneck anything inside the computer it's also 80 plus bronze certified meaning that it's going to be very power efficient and fully modular so you can only so you um, can get rid of the power cables that you're not going to use such as extra PCI Express or extra SATA ports cables that you're actually not going to be using because really the only three cables that you need 
for this specific build it will will be a 24 pin power motherboard power 8 pin cpu power and a 8 plus 2 pin for the graphics card as well as a 6 pin for the graphics card all right so that's basically it for the power supply moving down finally to the last part of the deal this is the optical drive the asus blu-ray drive it's a blu-ray reader and dvn cd writer for around 53 bucks i just thought uh, because this is a streaming machine or a system that's supposed to sit in your living room you're probably going to be watching blu-rays on there so that's why i chose that so that's basically much it if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash the like button and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Jack it up.